In today's classroom session, we're going to talk about the genetic material DNA, also known as deoxyribonucleic acid. We're going to talk about the discoveries that led to the uh, scientists figuring out the shape of DNA, as well as the components of DNA, its structure. So its shape, its structure. Uh, we already know that DNA is the genetic material. So first, let us remember that DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Deoxyribo is for the sugar deoxyribose, and it is a nucleic acid, with his, which is the type of organic compound it is. So DNA is made up of nucleotides. Nucleotides are made up of three component parts, a phosphate group, a pento sugar, which is a five carbon deoxyribose, and one of four nitrogenous bases. There are four nitrogenous bases in DNA. They are adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine, and they are represented by the letters A, G, C, and T, respectively. Now, there were three different important scientific discoveries uh, before we found the shape of DNA, okay? And through the course of those three experiments, uh, it was determined finally that DNA was in the shape of a double helix. First was Rosalind Franklin and Maurice Wilkins. They studied DNA on x-rays and were able to see that it was a corkscrew shape. Erwin Shargoff discovered that different organisms had different amounts of adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine in them. But he did notice in all organisms that the amount of adenine was always equal to the amount of thymine and the amount of cytosine was always equal to the amount of guanine. Using the work of Franklin and Shargoff, Watson and Crick finally discovered the shape of the DNA molecule was that of the double helix or the twisted ladder, two strands twisted around each other. You can see here the double helix shape, okay? The sugars and phosphates form the backbone, and there you see the base pairs in the middle. Adenine bonds to thymine, cytosine bonds to guanine. There are two distinct strands of DNA bonded to each other. So there's our quick rundown on the structure of DNA and the scientists who figured it out. As always, if you have any confusion, you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send me an email at kfight at fau.edu. Take care.